This is Robert Siegelman. I work in both drawing and photography. They're both completely related and yet look different, meaning that the photography is kind of kind of reverent in some ways, taking uh, pictures of men, showing their vulnerability. The drawings sometimes appear kind of sarcastic, also sexual, and a kind of queering uh, figure modeling and figure drawing, kind of riffing off all the, the conventions and rules that are in place for classes and drawing groups. I've kind of always taken pictures. One of, one of my childhood memories is having uh, an empty toilet paper tube that I pretended was a camera. <laughs> I was going around and taking pictures through it. Oh, I was given a Kodak Instamatic probably in the 60s, I'm just guessing. Gradually moved on and got a camera, a real camera. When I was in art school, I always took photography classes. However, I was always dropping out of them because in those days, photography classes were about how to use the darkroom. That wasn't my temperament at all. I'm kind of klutzy enough in the light more than having to work in the dark. So I just kind of took color slides. That led to Polaroid work, which then led in time with development of digital work and no darkroom necessary. Both with photography and drawing, I like the, the immediacy and the intimacy. One of my series is called The Model and the Photographer, in which sometimes I'm in the picture either reflected or actually in front of the camera with the model and the work is really very much about intimacy normalizing intimacy normalizing nudity normalizing touch especially touch between men where i live in boston in the united states is a pretty conservative part of the country not conservative in some ways more conservative in that it's kind of prudish. I mean, politically, we're considered among the most liberal areas of the country, but when it really comes down to it, people don't want to talk about nudity, people don't want to exhibit nudity, people don't want to show nudity. Years ago, when I first showed a group of large-scale Polaroid works, big, big 20 by 24 Polaroid work, the invitation that went out through the public, through the mail, the printing company didn't want to print a poster of it for the gallery to use in their outside window. And, and it wasn't something that showed genitals. I mean, it was an intimate picture of two men, but there were no genitals in it, which is one of the reasons why it was chosen for that purpose. And just the kind of general feeling like a lot of people like the work, but, but, but is this something that one would own. Like I have a big, big nude in my living room. Um, I think it's normal and natural to have it there. A lot of people would not would not, you know, show something like this, have something like this in their home. My work is, is online on Facebook, Twitter, Flickr, Instagram, my website. I wish that both Facebook and Instagram were much more queer friendly in that there's work that gets taken down from there that's not necessarily particularly explicit. Like, I don't really want to lose those accounts, but I have to be really careful about what I post them. If you're in the area, I'm always happy to show someone my studio, my work in person. And it's really important to support the arts, and that includes buying artwork. And people think that's a luxury or even frivolous, but it's really important to keep this work going. In the United States, there's not a lot of support for the arts. There's a lot of arts going on here, of course, and there's a lot of art that's being sold, but there's not a lot of support here. Keep working, keep doing it, don't stop. Be discouraged because that's normal, that's gonna happen, but work anyways. Whatever you can do, whether you only have a couple minutes a day to do it, do it. Be yourself in the work and not try to have your work look like something that you admire. It could be influenced by something you admire, but try to go beyond what you love in other people's work. Persevering is the hardest and most important thing.